And talk like that has already made people in the Fort Smith area very nervous. Could the 188th and all the jobs that go with the fighter wing be moved out of Fort Smith? How would it affect the region? We're fortunate to have Congressman Steve Womack join us now. Just back from Washington tonight, and he only had time for this one live interview before a planned engagement tonight. So where do you think we go from here? I know the process is very early stages. Well, Craig, there, there is, uh, and for good reason, a lot of concern about what these defense cuts are going to meet across the board, across the entire country, and certainly here in the 3rd Congressional District. And as you've already mentioned, the 188th Fighter Wing, look, you don't have to explain BRAC to the people in Fort Smith. They've been through this before. Right. Uh, back when they transitioned from the F-16 uh, platform to the A-10, uh, it was a, a, a pretty uh, ugly sort of, uh, but very successful uh, exercise. And I think the people in Fort Smith are doing the right thing by leaning forward on the issue. Uh, look, we're going to go through uh, this BRAC process for a reason. We're taking a half, uh, you know, a half a trillion dollars in cuts over 10 years in the first round, and then with the sequester that was triggered by the Budget Control Act, uh, by January 13th, there could be upwards of another $600 billion in cuts over another 10 years. Uh, we're talking about a trillion dollars plus of cuts in the Defense Department over the next 10 years if the sequester goes through. Uh, so it's, I'm very concerned about it. Of course, it's all going to be in the details but one could uh, logically uh, reason that if uh, if the Fort Smith unit was on the chopping block uh, back in 2005 uh, when we're in, and those were a lot less in cuts if we go through a process it involves a trillion dollars in cuts over two different uh, series then uh, we could be back there but uh, we're gonna do the right things that's what I was gonna ask you that what went through in 2005 it took months and there was lots mm -hmm. of nerves and do you think it'll be the same process well I think it'll be the same process but here's what we have to find out Craig we have to find out first of all what is the future future of the A-10 flying right. platform uh, in, as it concerns the Air Force. Uh, are they going to continue to fly this legacy aircraft? This is an old aircraft. Uh, and, and if not, then what kind of a backfill for the Fort Smith uh, unit could we find? And, uh, and I, I think that's the, the process that uh, you will see go forward is uh, if in fact that we find that we're not going to be able, the, the Air Force is not going to fly the A-10s or not as many of them, and if in fact we're going to lose the A-10, what can we get to replace it with? What kind of a legitimate mission that's got uh, a lot of upside for the future uh, can we turn to? Do you think this is the right process to tackle the country's debt problems? And if not, what do you think needs to be done? Well, we're very concerned about the impact of these kinds of cuts on defense and our ability to project power and to fight uh, multiple contingencies is going to be uh, left on the table for discussion uh, when this when this is all through yeah but so really it, it's just beginning you'll go back to Washington and, and join up with what the senators and well, see what you can do know this that uh, everybody on our most of the people on our side of the aisle we're, we're, of course we're always known to be very defense con conscious uh, and big defense supporters but everybody on our side of the aisle uh, with very few exceptions understand that uh, we're going to do everything we can not to compromise national security in the quest of balancing our budget and this affects Oklahoma too so it I'm does. sure you'll have some 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 folks joining you from Oklahoma. But look, Craig, this is all site that's going to happen nationwide. It's not just in Arkansas. It's not just with the 188. Yeah. Uh, there are going to be a lot of uh, sacrosanct territories uh, uh, under consideration mm -hmm. of, uh, of the budget knife. Oh boy, we'll see what's to come. Congressman Steve Womack, 3rd District, Arkansas, thank you for taking the time My pleasure, Craig. to update our region right here thank on 4029.